What is up guys, welcome back to another Skater XL video. Today we'll be skating Milano train station or railway station. Anyway, it's a real life spot made in Skater XL by Sunday. And he's done a really good job. And what did I hit there? Did I hit the light I placed? Can you do that? I, I guess so. But as you can see, I have some brown pants on, a black t-shirt. Is that actually what he wore? I don't know, but I'm gonna try to recreate this real life clip right here. I think Mark Johnson's part in Fully Flared is just so legendary. I do also really like his other parts, but Fully Flared... Whew, I, I get a little uh, tear in my eye every time I watch that. So let's just try to get that front board to... I guess it's a front nose blunt, but we're going like all the way around. I have increased the grind spin a little bit, so we'll see if that helps me. But I haven't ever done a trick like this before in Skater XL, I believe. And also, you need the map fix to play this map. I'll probably link that in the description. I, I think I'll try to collect all the mods I'm using and add that to the About page on... Uh, or not the About page, but the About segment I do whenever I play a video game. I have a little About segment on it. So I'll try to maybe add... Add the mods I'm, I'm using to that. I can't speak today. We gotta get it real good like Mark Johnson did in real life. But I accidentally pop out every time. I'm just trying to like get the, the nose blunt power slide thing. That was so close. That was pretty damn good. We're gonna film that. I'm probably gonna recreate some more famous real life tricks in this video, but I'm kind of just going off the top of my memory, so I won't be filming it like 100% like it was in real life. I think that turned out amazing, but we have entered another version of the same map, so everything's the same except for the lighting. This right here is the 6am version, the other one we were playing with a 4am version. But as you guys can see, this is also a very famous spot. So I'm also gonna do some stuff here. I actually think we should start out by getting some Lucas Puig tricks. Maybe just uh, the front Smith kickflip out. I think he does that in fully flared. Ah, okay, we can kind of clean that up. I don't know if I'm gonna film these. I'm, I'm just going off the, uh, the top of my head here. Even though that was really good. Oh, I think Sean Malt. So he did a either just a nose grind or maybe a nollie to nose grind and then down to a nose manual and then nollie flip out. But I forgot I've been having some issues with the, the grinds to manuals, probably because of a mod. You are definitely able to do that in the base game of Skater XL. But yeah, I, I can't do that right here. What what else could we do? If we start from the other side, I think Sean Malter also did a either nolly nose grind. Again, I can't remember because Sean he's so good at like nollying into stuff. But then a heel flip out. What did uh, Lucas Quick do? He also did a back tail and then a uh, flip out. That was not that great. We'll we'll try to clean that up, but I'm having a difficult time like getting the flip out. Yeah, okay, we got it right there. We are just chilling. Oh, Mike Johnson, he did a front blunt to fake on it. Let's try to redo that. First try, and I think we should film it. All right, we'll get a few more tricks here and then we'll move back to the other spot where you can also skate it as an outlet. But I believe Brandon Beeble, he did a 5-0 kickflip out in pretty sweet. Did it heel flip? I flicked out to the left. Let me just check that out. Yeah, I flicked a kickflip, but it did a heel flip. I haven't tried that before. Some of the mods I'm using are really messing up the game. So I gotta figure out which one is doing that. Alright, we'll just keep that one. What else did Brandon do? I think he did like a fakey tail or whatever you want to call that. There's so much discussion on that. 
and then he went out to his normal stance. Ooh, I probably need to pop a little bit higher. Yeah, that one. Oh, Kenny Anderson, what was his last trick and pretty sweet. That was also at this spot. Might have been a uh, half cap no slide and then like switch flip, nolly flip out to fakey again, I believe. I'll try to show all the clips I can find on YouTube uh, I'm talking about, but some of them you'll probably need to find yourselves. Oh, the uh, switch mongo to a half cap feeble. <laughs> Oh man, I keep wanting to go out to regular, but we gotta land Fakie again. I'm kind of hitting the ledge on the way out, so that's why we're slamming. I'm not popping out enough, I think. Maybe I'm going too fast. Even though we know I skate so slow in this game. Hearing the word night speeds is going too fast. Probably not really something we hear. Hmm. All right. You know what? I am upping the grind pop. Just a little bit. See, if I'm going really slow, it works. And don't worry, that was me who got a message. It's as soon as I'm going a little bit fast. It's like he's not popping far enough away from the ledge. Oh my god, we are on the tip of the nose right there. God damn it, I spun the wrong way again. Yeah, okay. We can't do it like Kenny did in real life, and that's fine. Oh my god, final trick we gotta do here. This one should be quick, but Riley Hawk did a Bennett grind to Fakie in uh, the flare, I believe. That Now we're in the Bennett grind, but we gotta do it from the start. I feel like I've skated this famous spot enough because this is actually a really big map. I think there's a lot of stuff that's not recreations, but cool things you can skate. But I'm just so drawn to like the real stuff. That sounded kind of weird, but I want to get one final trick here and it's going to be like some sort of dream trick. So what would be cool to see at this spot? Probably a kickflip back smith. Tray flip out. Okay, but while we skate over to the other spot, we can check out some of the stuff we have at this map. So you have like many pads all the way around. You have this, which is pretty interesting looking. It does have slide marks on, so that's a nice little detail. Because I don't know if this is an actual uh, real spot of the famous spot. What am I trying to say today? That rhymed. Let's just try to get a little uh, no slide maybe. That's a classic, like, long hold trick. Uh, I'm, I'm about to give up with the talk and maybe just remove the face cam. I gotta remember that whenever I do tail slides and nose slides, you guys don't want me to press both sticks down. But I'm kind of falling out of it, so we'll just press it up. Just a little uh, life hack right there. Because we're not filming this, but I know it doesn't look good if you're actually filming the trick. That was uh, interesting. Where's the famous flat gap? Isn't that close... Okay, that must be this one. Maybe? Yeah, it probably is. I think Lucas Brick does a switch laser here. This is a really, really nice map. You also have these things. Like A-frames. And yeah, just a bunch of ledges here for nice realistic looking lines. Some cool rails. And we do a back feeble. Nice, we could. It wasn't the best, but it was alright. We have some short handrails. We have another outrail up here above the flowers. And then we have a bunch of these, like, outlet gaps. I, I think that's what I want to call them. Okay, so if we're going off the top of my memory, let's do another Lucas Puig trick. Because his last trick, or the French Connection's last trick in Fully Flared, was a back tail to 70 shot. Not like that. We land fake on that. We're supposed to stay in regular. Yeah, I like that, but we can clean it up a little bit, and I can also take the grind pop a little bit down. Because as far as I remember, the real one, he just barely made it over the bottom ledge we're rolling on now. 
For anyone who asked about my stats in Skater Excel, I mostly just click hardcore and then I do small tweaks every now and then. That was pretty good. That was really cool, but hey, you know what? I want to get something in Goofy, and I know we're technically just regular still, but skating switch. But Riley Hawk, he did a... Was it a frontsmith hard flip out? I think he did two tricks on this in the flare, actually. Uh, that was the tray flip out. Oh, there it just came out of the blue. Nice. There was something weird going on with the back foot, so it kind of looked like a pressure flip almost. But yeah, that was a cool trick we just got without really thinking about it. Got a little uh, flat gap here. Nice. And then a rail we could switch back, said so no scrying. Let's try to skate these like A frame things. But yeah, if I didn't say it already, I would really recommend this spot. Because I recommend all good spots in Skater Excel. I actually recommend every spot I play on the channel. I don't know what's going on today. I just... My brain isn't working. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, can you, like, slide this out? I hope it has the uh, transition grind splines. Let's just find out. It does. But uh, that was not what I was expecting. Ah, oh, that is so dope. Skates really well, actually. Wow. My brain just completely shut off there. <laughs> wow. I don't know. I have been playing the game for a little bit right now, so... Uh... We might have enough for a video, I don't really know. I probably need to eat something, drink something, and uh, get some sleep. So I just hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if I was a little off today. It's been uh, very busy times in my life lately, so I I'm sorry that I haven't been posting as much. But uh, hopefully we can get back to that. Yeah, I, I just can't play right now. But yeah, as I said, I highly recommend this map. It's made by Sunday. There's a map download link to all three time of day versions there are of this map in the uh, description thank you so much for watching i'll just be seeing you in the very next skater excel video or other skate thing video games here in the oh my god thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel as always i'll just see you in the next video peace out